Good evening, Council. I'm here tonight as a member of the Loveland Beautification Committee, and I want to express my concern that Donna Bednar's name is not on the list of members of that committee for the upcoming term. And I feel that surely this is an oversight, and I hope that's one that we can very easily correct when you get to the later part of the agenda and you're discussing council, our, uh, committee appointments. But the reason why I'm concerned about this is the Loveland Beautification Committee is a highly productive, well-functioning team. I'm, I'm one who's interested in statistics, so I took a couple of minutes and just went back on the, the team that was in place last term, and I calculated that our team had a combined 80 plus years of service to the city. You add up, add, add all that up, and I thought that was a pretty impressive number. And each member on the committee brings unique talents and different perspectives to the table, just as you do in your roles here on council. I don't know if any of you collect things of value, such as baseball cards or coins or objects of art or anything like that, but if you do, you know that when you break up a set, that you, in essence, devalue that segment of the collection. So, with that in mind, what value does Donna Bednar bring to the table? She has lots of creative ideas and solutions that she puts forth, and she has a phenomenal capacity for attracting and motivating volunteers. And most importantly of all, she makes every volunteer to the Loveland Beautification Committee feel valued. And there's, I can think of hardly any task that she's not tackled during the time that she served the <coughs> Beautification Committee. I don't know if you know this, but there were several things she was instrumental in doing. One, we have something called the Adopt-a-Spot program, and she was instrumental in getting that going. She attracted or recruited all the volunteers, and she organized the whole scheme of the planting beds and containers. And you see the success of this every year in the spring when all the volunteers come out and they're planting flowers across the city. She also initiated something called the Commercial Properties Assistance Program. We ran this for several years. And Donna went to a number of the businesses in the Loveland Madeira Business Corridor, and she talked with them about beautifying their streetscapes, in particular, the two strip malls that are on Loveland Madeira. And she helped those business owners with their selection of planters and planting material, and she gathered together some um, volunteers to help them plant, and it was very successful to, for a number of years. Um, as a matter of fact, many of those businesses have kept on with that on their own. And it was also Donna's idea to dress up the Paxton Bridge with holiday decorations. We did that for several years. She always jumps in when there's work to be done. She's highly organized and efficient, and you can always count on her to get the job done. So we need her many talents, and we need her can-do attitude on the committee. I think it would be a huge disservice to the committee and to the community not to reappoint Donna to the Loveland Communication Committee. Thank you.